हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम डॉक्टर वाई के सिंगल योर कम्युनिटी मेडिसिन फैकल्टी एट डी सो यू माइट सी दैट एवरी ईयर इन एंट्रेंस एग्जामिनेशन देर इज अ क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द एपिडेमियोलॉजिकल स्टडीज और देर आर सम एपिडेमियोलॉजिकल एक्सरसाइजेज टूडे वी विल सॉल्व एक्सरसाइज हियर सो दिस इज द क्वेश्चन इन अ स्टडी टू हंड्रेड स्मोकर्स एंड सिक्स हंड्रेड नॉन स्मोकर्स वर फॉलोड अप ओवर अ पीरियड ऑफ टेन ईयर्स टू फाइंड आउट इंसिडेंस ऑफ द हाइपर टेंशन आउट ऑफ टू हंड्रेड स्मोकर्स सिक्सटी डेवलप्ड हाइपर टेंशन एज कम्पेयर टू सिक्स हंड्रेड नॉन स्मोकर्स ऑफ विच थर्टी डेवलप्ड हाइपर टेंशन ऑल आर यूजफुल इन्फ्लुएंस ऑफ दिस स्टडी एक्सेप्ट सो दे आर दे आर नॉट आस्किंग अस टू कैलकुलेट एनी थिंग दे आर जस्ट आस्किंग दैट विच ऑफ द विच अमंग ऑल द ऑप्शन गिवन ऑल आर यूजफुल इन्फ्लुएंस ऑफ दिस स्टडी सो यू मस्ट नो विच टाइप ऑफ स्टडी इज दिस ओके सो इन इफ यू विल स्टडी इन आई स्टडी टू हंड्रेड स्मोकर्स एंड सिक्स हंड्रेड नॉन स्मोकर्स मीन्स दे आर पर्सन और दे आर आर द हिस्टडी सब्जेक्ट विद द एक्सपोजर एक्सपोजर ऑफ द स्मोकिंग ओके दीज आर दीज पर्सन आर एक्सपोज दीज आर द नॉन एक्सपोज तो इनिशियली वी हैव सम एक्सपोज पॉपुलेशन एंड नॉन एक्सपोज पॉपुलेशन एंड दे आर फॉलोड अप सो इट मीन्स दिस इज अ फॉलो अप स्टडी विच इज अ कहट स्टडी ओके सो या इट इज अ कहट स्टडी एंड दे आर आस्ट आल्सो सेइंग to find out the incidence it means in which study they are uh, we can find out the incidence it is simple it is cohort study okay so what are the inference of the cohort study so in a cohort in the difference of case control and cohort i have already mentioned in my lecture in the uh, rapid revision of the dg now this in case control we can we can calculate odds ratio and here we can calculate air air means attributable risk either attributable or pot, uh, population attributable and incidence and the relative risk so attributable risk incidence and the relative risk are the inference of the cohort study here population attributable risk either population or attributable risk incidence and relative risk these are three things that are the inference of the uh, cohort study and odds ratio is not the inference of the uh, cohort study it is case control study okay so here answer will be odds ratio okay this will be our answer but now if it is very easy question but in similar question if they ask you to calculate something like in the same question they ask you to calculate the risk ratio risk ratio means they asking to calculate relative risk so what is relative risk so relative risk is it means they are saying that if a person is exposed to how many times how many times a person is having chances of developing disease among from the non exposed in compared to the non exposed so here we are saying that from the 200 no, smokers out of 200 smokers 60 developed the disease while out of 600 only 30 developed the disease so these are the 60 incidents from the 200 so if we calculate the incidence among exposed it will be 60 by 200 which is equal to uh, if we will calculate it will be equal to 0.3 okay while in non exposed 30 by 600 it will be equal to 0.05 okay if we will calculate okay you can uh, if we doctors are weak in the mathematics so we can uh, write down like this from 0 to 0 6 by 20 it means 3 by 10 and here 0 to 0 it is uh, 1 by 20 okay it is 1 by 20 so 3 by 10 and 1 by 20 this is the incidence among exposed this is the incident among non exposed now for relative risk ie upon ine this is 0.3 to 0.05 directly answer is the 6 or 3 by 10 divided by 1 by 20 so 0 to 0 a 3 into 2 multiply by 6 so answer will be 6 6 here so risk ratio risk ratio or relative risk will be 6 here okay so similarly you can calculate the attributable risk also or the incidence we have already calculated the incidence among the exposed or non exposed so these type of the questions these type of the epidemiology exercises are often asked in the any entrance examination of medical either it may be fmg inicet or the neat pg okay so for more content related to this more content like this you connect with the dgnav to get your dream to get your achievement heights